And I remind you of the story where a man came to Abu Hanifa and said, Ya Abu Hanifa, I make 5,000, let's say $5,000 and it's not enough. What should I do? So Abu Hanifa looks at him and says, go to your boss and tell him I want 4,000 instead of five. SubhanAllah. 5,000 is not enough, so go to your boss and ask for 4,000. The man knows Abu Hanifa is a good man, and he goes to his boss, and the boss gladly says, you're a good guy, 4,000 is your salary. Then a couple of months later, he comes back to Abu Hanifa and said, Abu Hanifa, the 4,000 is not enough to, for me. What should I do? He told him, go to your boss and ask for 3,000. And again, the boss is happy. There's cost. And the man disappears a few months. And then one day he comes back and says, thank you to Abu Hanifa. Now I have 3,000 is enough and I save. So the companions of Abu Hanifa radiallahu anh, ask him, what's, how could 5,000 not be enough? How could 4,000 not be enough? And now 3,000 is enough and he saves. He said because the job he was doing was not worth 5,000. And was not worth 4,000, so it was haram money. So now that he's working according to what he is really worth, which is 3,000, Allah has blessed this money and he gets enough for him and he can save. SubhanAllah. This is how Islam is. We do al-halal and we do the right things and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless it and make it more. If we think we take more, whether the boss knows or not or whatever, because we're smart and we, we do whatever, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't bless it. SubhanAllah. And we, most of us will feel it here in this Western society that's built, built on material things. We keep asking for more, and subhanAllah, when we get more, we realize it's not enough and we still want more. We have to ask what do we deserve and what is the halal, and inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, bless it for us. Umar ibn Khattab one time he realized that people are asking for mahr, wedding gift or dowry, too much money. So he sought the solution while he's giving a speech, he said we should put a cap on how much money should people ask as a dowry or mahr for the wedding of their daughters because it's becoming hard on Muslims to pay this kind. So a woman stood in the back and said, Omar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the rich should pay what they can afford and the poor should pay what they can afford. Why do you put a cap on it? So Omar ibn Khattab looks and says, the lady is right and I am wrong. He's willing to admit a leader who's willing to admit his wrong. How many of us don't listen to other people's opinions? And we say we're always right. And even if we're right, we say don't tell me I'm wrong or ever. SubhanAllah.